Hey everyone, let's talk about one of the most important people in the entire Bible, John the Baptist. John the Baptist is important, and we know he's important, because he's in all four of the Gospels that tell the story of Jesus. And he's in there because he was the forerunner for the Messiah, meaning he was the one who prepared the way to Jesus. Now, John's also remembered because of his message of repentance and his powerful devotion to God. Let's begin by thinking about the birth of John the Baptist. Now, John the Baptist had kind of an unusual birth, and you can read about that in the book of Luke, and his birth was foretold by the angel Gabriel, just like Jesus. And John was actually a cousin of Jesus, so they were related, and so they probably knew each other growing up. Now, we don't know a lot about John's childhood, except he spent a lot of time in the wilderness. He became very devoted to God, and we see that was in full swing when he begins his public ministry. John had a very unique role to play preparing the way for Jesus. He was trying to bring the people of Israel to repentance, and a lot of his message had to do with repentance. In other words, you change your mind about who God is, you change the, the direction of your life and your understanding of God, and then, and then he would say stuff like, bear fruit in keeping with repentance. So he'd want people to live out the reality of their repentance. And many people came to John, and John was a really unusual guy. He wore camel hair, he ate locusts, so kind of a different kind of guy. But it was his message, not so much his, his weirdness, no offense, John, it wasn't so much his weirdness that brought people out to the wilderness, but it was his message. And he also believed that once you're a follower of God and once you've believed in God, it would make this radical change in your life. You know, he baptized people. He baptized people for the repentance of their sins. Sins. And so people would come to him and say, John, I'm ready to give my life over to God. And they would be baptized in the river by John. And then John would have this, this powerful message for people. The crowds asked, what should we do? John replied, if you have two shirts, give one to the poor. If you have food, share it with those who are hungry. John had a radical message of obedience to God. Now, a lot of people thought that John was the Messiah, the promised one who, who was to come, but John made it very clear that he was not the Messiah. He was just getting ready for the coming of the Messiah. John was ultimately put in prison and executed by King Herod because John had condemned Herod's marriage to his brother's wife, kind of a messy family thing. But John was remembered by Jesus as the greatest of the Old Testament prophets. Now, one of the reasons that I just am so impressed by the person of John the Baptist and what I learned from him and his life is his attitude because long before Jesus came around, John had this gigantic public ministry and the crowds came out to hear from John. And in fact, John baptized Jesus. And yet, once John understood who Jesus was, that Jesus was the Messiah, John had just a wonderful appreciation. John said, he must become great and greater and I must become less and less. This was John's view, that even though John was the celebrity, Jesus must become greater and John must become less. And that's a wonderful lesson for you and me, that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who we are, it doesn't matter what we accomplish, it's not about us, it's about glorifying Jesus. In every area of our lives, we need to become less, we don't really matter that much. It's God who matters. God must become greater. So John's an awesome example of humility, of an attitude of repentance, and an attitude of following God and trusting in him till the end.